These women are planting cocoa a few hours north of the Dominican Republic's capital. Not long ago, they saw so few opportunities to live off their land that many made a living cleaning houses in the city. Now these women, led by Flor Maria Brioso, the president of their Farmers' Federation, have returned to the countryside, investing their time and labor in their new business. If we plant cocoa, in the future we can sell cocoa. I won't need to leave my field to go to the city because this cocoa project guarantees a future to my family here, living in the countryside. Flo's opportunity to make a living off her land is the result of a unique alliance between the private sector and the government. The vision for this new partnership began in 2012 with the country's national development strategy, which aims to eradicate rural poverty by 2030. The government sees the private sector as taking a lead role in achieving this, as they are the main drivers of wealth and profit in the country. For this reason, it's necessary that the government facilitates the private sector to become the key driver of the economy, to dynamize the economy. Now, through an innovative government project, the private sector is taking an active role in poverty alleviation. The Dominican Agribusiness Board, known as JAD, is an umbrella organization of agricultural industries, exporters and producers. Through a nationwide mentorship program, it is now transforming organizations of small producers into profitable and sustainable businesses. Using criteria such as poverty levels and marketability of products, JAD has already identified 70 organizations to work with. They are supported both financially and technically by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development. I would say that there are four main actors at play in the system, the public sector, the private sector, the producers' organizations, and the business plan. The business plan is at the core of this project, and it is the first thing the groups learn to do. First, the producer is taught how to assess their surroundings. Then they are taught how to assess niches within the market of their products and what activities they need to do to competitively integrate themselves into the market. Once the business plan is approved, the group is given the funds and training to implement it, along with the development of financial and administrative skills. For most producers' organizations, like this one that grows avocados, this is the first time they've opened a bank account, let alone developed a business plan. Two years ago, they were just scraping by. Now this group, known as the Cambita Cluster, has the certifications they need and a new packing plant, and they're about to start exporting to Europe. After the implementation of the business plan, the changes we had to make were radical. It created a new culture in the producer, a culture of hygiene, of protection of the environment, protection of the worker and the consumer, which were attributes that our producers didn't have. Besides the change in culture, farmers' incomes have also doubled and membership in the organization has increased by 40 percent. According to JAD's executive president, Osma Benitez, the success is because farmers themselves set their own business goals and drive the process. I think the fact that this private-public partnership enables farmers to be actors of their own development is a unique and special feature of this project, because no one knows better than the farmers themselves where they want to go. And Flor Brioso knows just where she wants to go. I want women farmers to move out of poverty and to achieve something. To have the small house, a business and savings. And with more than 13,000 other farming families already learning to build successful businesses, many more people like Flor are able to generate profits and the Dominican Republic is closer to achieving its goal of completely eliminating rural poverty.